everyone, Stock Mo here. It's that time of the week again. I'm gonna be bringing you the top five best growth stocks to buy now for December 2021. These are the ones I think have the biggest chance of running up over the next few weeks. And I'm gonna be buying one of these. I'm gonna be putting four grand into one of them on Monday. So I'm excited to go over them. But before we do, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, get your free share of Neo from Moomoo right now. It's very limited, only a few more days left. So the only link you can use is mine. There's no other channel out there. There's no other person that can do this. So if you want that free share of Neo, 40 something dollars for depositing $100 or more, then they give you two free shares between, uh, it's up to 3,500 each for that same deposit. So you're gonna end up with a whole bunch of free stocks. Deposit 2,000 or more, they give you five shots at, at stocks up to 3,500 each time, plus a guaranteed Neo share. One of the best deals you're ever gonna see, and it's limited, only a few days left. Now, with that being said, check out the $20 in free Bitcoin you can get from Gemini. I have that link down below. And then, of course, a whole bunch of other links down there to check out to get you some free cash, Coinbase, BlockFi, and Weeble. And then come over to my Patreon, check it out. Got my new high growth portfolio over there. I got the YouTube portfolio. I got a lot of portfolios, the private Discord, thousands of members. Good way to take it to the next level. Speaking of the YouTube portfolio, we got this bad boy right here. Now, for those wondering how this is going, uh, we're up $38,000. Remember, we started only putting four grand in a week. All right, so when you see this, people are like 20% up. Yeah, but that's based on dollar cost averaging, which means this return is fabulous. We started with $4,000, then eight, then we keep putting 4,000 in. So you don't average, we haven't been averaging with 220 something thousand in the account, of course, because we didn't start it. If we started with 220,000, that would be a different story, but we did not. We've been dollar cost averaging in. So this is doing phenomenal and I'm happy about it. We are up to 38,918. I would like to see this. I think with a good run, we could see this thing run up, hopefully, hopefully up to 300,000 by the end of this year with the dollar cost averaging and the gains I'm expecting to see over the next few weeks. Yes, I still am expecting them. The only thing that could slow us down though is the debt ceiling, which we'll worry about as we move forward. I want to take a look at last week just for everyone to see this you can see this right here uh these are what was picked volta was leading for most of the week and then everyone came out of the woodwork and picked PaySafe. and this was easily the worst stock that we have added to the portfolio since we started this to give you an idea PaySafe after we added it dropped 41 percent for the five days we could have picked any of the four and we would have been better uh we got we right here we got Polestar. This is one that I already own. I put it in the portfolio, but I wanted to see if you guys would select it too. It did end up 17% up. Oh, look at this in the after hours. Another 12%. I'm telling you, these are winners. These are winners. And uh we went with the most risky one, and I always say this: the biggest risk can lead to the biggest gains and the biggest losses this week and ended up hurting us now the good news is i do believe in diversity and i do have a lot of stocks in my portfolio including these ones that ran up to make up for it and we watched the youtube portfolio really manage that loss nicely so we ended up doing very well for the week and then as you can see as we have here uh, this is one of the best stocks to buy now in my opinion right now a lot of attention being paid towards the ev industry the ev chargers you're starting to see them run up again and this portfolio is for the short term i don't do a lot of uh, day trading and things like that but for those wondering i don't know if you're interested i'm debating a new live stream daily which is going to involve my daily my daily trade that i start at the beginning uh, of the live stream and by the end of the live stream we see how much money we made and lost so basically day trading a certain amount of money like maybe 500 i don't know five hundred thousand dollars worth of stock we'll see how much we can make every day and then by the time i log out we'll close her down and see what we did and i have a plan for that i'm pretty good with that from using the volatility charts and finding the ones that are moving the most and seeing we can do what we can do technically to take advantage of that so it's going to be fun this isn't my long-term fundamentals but if it's something you're interested in you're going to want to hit the subscribe button live streams are coming folks we are working on a lot of different things here behind the scenes that i think the audience is going to be excited about now back to the best growth stocks to buy now for 2021 and december more importantly this is the first one 
gonna give you another shot because I still think these have a run. So I'm putting this one in this week, okay? So I'm not putting in PaySafe again. I bet got bit twice by that one. I'm keeping it in the portfolio until the end of the year. I'll take a tax loss on December 31st and we'll call it a day. Uh, but the next one, Volta, this is the one it should have won, but all of a sudden it, it lost at the end. And you can see what happened last week. We would have made about 15, 16% off of this one. Ouch. So this week it's back in there. I did end up buying this one and I made a very nice sum of money off of this and enjoyed this ride up. Uh, so far, no complaints because the big ride actually came right in here. And so, you know, that helped make up for that as well. But I like this one. This is out there, you know, you think charge point for charging. And of course, Volt is out there as well. Very, very small company compared to charge point. So only a $2 billion market cap. This has some room to run. And so I like this one. It's getting the attention. The infrastructure bill out there will help. And I think that's why you're seeing a lot of positive attention paid to the EVs right now. The next, Open Door. I put this one out there as well. It ended up 3% up for the week. It was a gain, it would have been a gain. I do, I do wanna put some of these changing technologies out there. We'll see how it goes though. Obviously Zillow got hammered and Open Door did okay. And then we can go from there. But the, uh, re, uh, the uh, real estate is a tough business. And I think uh, Zillow found that out the hard way and Open Door is managing their flipping a little bit better. So we'll see how that goes because I know Zillow's out of that game. Twitter, I wanted to throw a legacy out there. Look at this. This actually got a lot of votes. I, I, I'm gonna put it to you. I like this, but I don't want it to win this week, but I'm gonna put it in there. To me, this is one that probably will bounce back this week, get me a couple percent over the next uh, six, seven weeks, but it won't be anything out, you know, you're not writing home about this. I'll probably make 5% over the next six, seven weeks on this if it does what I think it's gonna do. But I think some of these other ones have a chance going up 10, 20% or down 10, 20%. So I do like the more risky ones. So the next of the best growth stocks to buy now, I had to add a new one in there this week to make up for PaySafe last week. We got rid of that one. And I'm gonna go with Xpeng. I think the Chinese EVs are still running. This is only 40 billion market cap. They got the, they got the flying car thing going on. I mean, these guys, they are doing it right. I mean, Xpeng, I have a good position in Xpeng. Not what I have in NEO, of course, but I do have a nice position in this, and I don't mind adding a little bit more on. They are crushing it with their innovation. I gotta tell you, I like a lot of things they're doing. They got the new SUV coming out next week. I'm excited to see where we go. Now let's check out what the uh, the big people, the uh, you know, the professionals down on Wall Street think. They're probably watching the channel now. Uh, I'll help you out. And so what we got here, Volta. 1383 price target, they have it at 1271. Here's their first little tip, that's way too low. I think this thing gets up there. It should be able to get up to about $16 within the next 12 months. My personal opinion, I think 25% at least over the next 12 months. That's my minimum, that's my conservative. And so that's where I would see it. And then of course they have open, they have this up 40%, okay, that's, a, you know. I don't know if it'll go that high. I had it around 30%, but that's that's fine. I'll take it. Hopefully you got me on this one. But you can see uh, where they have this $32 is 23 right now. And then Twitter, 35% uh, upside potential. I think Twitter could really continue to, to expand and get a lot of user base and just do its thing. Uh, I think what they need to do personally, I think they need to come up with a way to monetize the, uh, the creation, the creators out there that get the content that everybody wants to be on the platform for, they need to pay people. And I think that's the roadblock. They have to bring in the income, but they have to share it with the creators. And that's always a tough thing. How much do they give away? How do we do this? And, but as soon as they start doing that a little better, I think they're gonna continue to expand. Xpeng, Xpeng, as you know, competes with Neo. This is my, my other one I always thought would finish behind Neo, and I still believe that, but it does have a 54% upside potential according to the professionals down on Wall Street. And so these are my top five best growth stocks to buy now for December. I think they're gonna have a big run. Now we're gonna go over and take a look and see what you're gonna pick. Now I haven't updated it yet, I have no idea. I, I'm hoping. I'm hoping for one of the top two or even Xpeng. Uh, we'll see what you're gonna vote right here. Now remember, it changed last week. Last week we had a winner and okay, there you go. I thought maybe it would have been uh, Xpeng, but it looks like Volta is gonna lead this one right now, 36% of 792 votes. That can change. Last week it was leading two and it got wiped out and everybody took PaySafe instead. And so maybe this week it'll hold its charge. 
<laughs> I like that. And it'll be able to do what it needs to do. So there's your winner. Now, if you haven't done it yet, get that free share of NEO. It only takes a few minutes. You're making 40 something dollars plus two shares of stock for depositing $100 or more. That could be worth up to 3,500 each. Deposit two grand or more, you get three additional free shares of stock worth up to 3,500 and you get all that then. So that's pretty good stuff. Then of course, get over to Gemini, $20 worth of free Bitcoin for trading $100 or more. That's all you gotta do and you get that. So I do highly recommend that. The links are down below. And then of course, Coinbase giving you uh, the opportunity to get some free Bitcoin just for doing the email and ID verification, no deposit required. And then uh, they do have staking over there, just like Gemini. Gemini has the staking, you get paid for staking some of your stuff over there. I really, I really like Gemini, check it out. And then of course, BlockFi giving you up to 250 in free Bitcoin for depositing. And then you can come on over to my Patreon where I have the private Discord. You can watch the portfolios live, my buys and sells, a private Discord, like I said, with thousands of members, a great place to take it to the next level. I appreciate you stopping by. Let's get out there and make some money.